one with the hex, all the disable. Update. Skyride. Shadow Shaman, played Mid. by Miracle. What? Meanwhile, back to mid lane, Kuro with all those rings of protection, trying to beef himself up a little bit to help him in lane mm. against the Kanka. So far, 8-0 on Kanka, though, and Kuro, he's, he's around 6 CS. He's not really um, being dominated. Also, Slardar is pretty decent versus Kanka. Harry slash mid player, but that is going way back. And maybe there was a tournament or two where Miracle actually stood out and Kuro played, I remember, as a dream hack where he played core. Back at bottom, though, there's a Shackles under the tower. They managed to get the tower off of him, and with the stick charges, Mind Control stays alive. Couple more right clicks. Miracle may get this kill. He's got an Aethershock. One more right click in the Aethershock. He should have this one. Is going to nuke him down. And a career. Wow. Two for one. Lee Grace, then he uh, based them with Purification, then he based them with the sticks, then another Heavenly Grace. He bought so much time. And Miracle, he's hitting Ooh. you for 80 plus 4. Imagine gets another kill. But back at top, we are on the Skyrath, support Skyrath, I guess? We, do we know? <laughs> it's, oh. I don't know. Who, I, no, it looks like he's last hit. Darks are only with one CS and we are with the seven. So it seems like he's playing. Yeah, we is the one the farming. Liner. You can see that he's going for the three null talismans build, which is pretty standard on a core. It's awful in Skyrat, so easy to gank. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, no, no way out for sure here. We are going to do as much damage as he can, but he's also been hit by the time dilation. Will go down. Lil taking that last hit. First ganking a solo here in the off lane. Definitely, I can agree with you in to some extent because it is a Skyrat. You, if you're not strong in the mid game, you're never strong. And GH might just fall here. Yeah, one more impetus should secure the deal, but he's staying close. He's also using the trees to juke Spartan. He needs more vision, but GH, nicely played. <laughs> the jokes. You can see the, this, there is no yeah. way. But you can see the, the cogs Spartan. turning in his head like, <laughs> I'm willing to dive this tier three tower. I'm willing to do it, but no. He can go for these kills. Skeeter, time walks in, looking for a bash. There's going to be an instant lift against the Surge, and then the slow from the Enchantress to purge it off, and an easy kill for the Void. Enchantress overall is really strong versus Dark Siri. He's gonna have Admit to do a though, lot. Looks like they're gonna find the kill on Kuro. That's the Kunkka ultimate. Looks like they wanna go to game three with, with this draft, so far <laughs> at least, because uh, they have pretty much four supports and an Omni Knight that's farming well. Yes. Slardar, all, all right, Kuro does have 28 CS, but he oh, did die. They know he's trapped here. They saw the Firefly end, and they knew he was still in the trees. Miracle wants the kill, but with the TP in from the Void, Miracle shouldn't be able to get it. No, he doesn't got enough damage as Skeeter will get the revenge kill. Now Spartan shows up with some nice body blocks. Look like he, Skeeter may just clean up here. His Void TP rotation is going to get a couple of kills. Sadly, Spartan is the one that gets the last hit on that uh, Skyrat, but yeah. Skylark survives. They get a couple of uh, good kills. Void also rotates towards this lane, which means he will be able to pressure uh, the Omni Knight a little bit better. They're, like, instantly... Miracle's pretty tanky with the Heavenly Grace, though. I think instantly, one, when he jumped in. But... Yeah. Enigma are going to get taken the Spartan kill down bottom. They're looking for more. They're looking for a skin. Skeeter's going to time walk away. If Kuro can get this kill, that'd be huge. That's he has the to use it. Yeah, he needs to use it maybe defensively. No, he's going to go on the offensive. And with the boat to follow this up, a perfect combo! Catches out all three. Kuro and Mind Control probably going to have to run away. They're going to X back Mind Control here. No torrent just yet. And Skeeter still getting zoned away by Kuro. Barnia still wants to hold his ground. But with GH showing up, giving an Iron Shell as well, the damage from Nigma has to be respected. But aggressive mode still doing just that but i love enigma and how they uh, adapt to every single situation they spread resources very well across the map you can see that kuro the moment he rotates bottom we take some farm on the mid lane but he has to be careful here with kuroki though yeah. now they got this kill that damage maybe not there with skyrath being so under level but slada gets the crush has four points in the passive the bash lil is coming yeah if Lil can maybe get a lift here, he should be able to bail out Boronia. Kuro really wants that one, but not going to be able to get it. They're really trying to be as aggressive as possible. Spartan, because of that, he will be blocked by Mind Control over here. Yep. Hasn't got that untouchable just yet, so maybe in some trouble with Kuro's damage, and they've got nothing to protect Spartan, and he gets taken out there. Next in line could be the faces void. He's been silenced up here, but flying on in over the bat rider, pulling one up onto the cliff. He's going to leave him up there. Mind Control's got no escape. He's just going to burn. And two down on the side of Nigma. Bushan's been really good, but oh, 
Miracle going for the kill. Didn't drop the Serpent Wards, though. I think without that, they weren't going to be able to get that kill as we are. It's going to get found in the trees. It's funny that they actually commit everything going to the Weeha, even though it's Shadow Shaman Miracle. That's actually much better yeah. kill at the moment. He's level 6. We'll never. Yeah, it's going to be so late before he gets that Atos or any kind of active item. They're rotating here. Oh, they've got a big Cronus here. Catches out three. Miracle can't catch him with the Shackles. He positions away from the Shackle range with the boat fall up onto three. Great Cronus via Skeeter. Sets his team up to get a couple of kills. It looks like Kuro going to get taken out as well by Skylax Batrider. And that's going to be it for now. Skylax still, still there. wants GH. Won't get close enough for that lasso. Looking to press the issue. They've got all five down here. We talked about how strong their mid game is. I think they understand they have no late game. They are five manning down bottom with Serpent Wards. Lil gets gone on, but with the lift, there's just no other real follow-up. They haven't got any of those initiation items to really force a fight, but they'll get a tier one tower. But look at the mini-map. Look where the die heroes are. Kunkka farming mid, Void farming top, yeah, and Nygma are five man coming out from Lil that game, so. Mind control. He's gonna see uh, Void charging on in. There's a Chronosphere. Skidder doesn't think he needs it, and I'm not sure he does to get the first kill. It looks like they're going to take out Miracle with the lasso. Unable to get Kuro. Could have thrown a Chrono there and gotten at least one more kill, but yeah. aggressive mode want to save their ultimates. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of damage in the Chrono as well. Omni Knight is there. The only reason they committed the lasso is because Omni Knight used Heavenly Grace already. So they GH wanted the Bounty Rune. Oh, he'll get it. Then he'll pay the price. Goes down in exchange. Kuro up top with the Skywrath ultimate doing some good damage onto the Enchantress. I'll get the kill. Kuro has another Curse of Haze, but... The communication between this team, even in a clowny game such as this one, is so good. And also cleared out by Skeeter and his Illusion Rune. So not much damage done on that team on top, but they've got the Disables. They go on the Faceless Void here. Skywrath dropping the ultimate, but Void being kept alive. Spartan nicely sharing the damage, and Void still left the silence. Well, Skeeter gets away. He can thank Spartan for that one, and in return, Aggressive mode of taking down Skyrath and looking for more GH. Shouldn't have a way out of this one. They get a second kill and perhaps more. Boronia gets him with the X. They've got a Centaur here as well. They can pull him back with the Centaur Hoof Stomp to follow it up. Perfect counterplay coming in from aggressive mode. Considering uh, what the lineup they've got, it took them way too much time to try and kill that Void. Yeah, they, they got the 5v5 fight they were looking for, perhaps. And Chronosphere wasn't even used. They committed so much to not kill Void. Sadly, 7k behind without the wards from Shadow Shaman as well. Yeah. This is difficult. Well, Skylark, again, we're just seeing the lack of damage on this Nygma side. Even with that Haze, they don't have any physical damage to partner with the Slaughter, it feels like. Skeeter shows up. He says, this time I will, Chrono. Catches out two, gets the easy couple of kills as... And we... Yeah. Borani is so tanky if you check him Looking out. Looking for a cleave. Ooh. He's got that Crystalis, double bracer. Over 2k health, he's going to drop the boat as well, make himself even tankier as well. Mind Control could be in some trouble. Has got Purification, he's still healing himself back up. Orania needs some backup, has Spartan showing up. Can they look to turn this one? It looks like Nibbik still want to go charging forward, but Weeha is completely out of mana. And that means Mind Control is kind of left on his own. Borania is still alive. GH needs another surge forward. Have they got the damage? Borania juking. He's not going to hit that cleave, but he gets he's away great. with the lift. Oh! And he lives! Fancy footwork. And first, th that joke was really good. He wanted to kill them with the cleave. Kuro sprints in, but gets enchanted, slow There's down. No way out once you've been caught by the Kunker X. It's going to be from bad to worse. As bottom lane, Skeeter gets a nice little pick off there on the Shadow Shaman. And top lane, Kuro actually may get away. Nope, he's been lifted. Lil's really. there with the cast range. Yeah, Lil even tries to toss him on the high ground there oh. just for the heck of it. And we? they're not done. We... <laughs> hey, You're tried. not killing this Kunkka, man. He has two Bracers and a Van Brace on strength. Yeah. There's just not taking him down. I imagine at this point, Enigma's kind of laughing at himself. Like, yeah, I don't think we can win this game anymore, but let's just let's just go out with a bang and try to have some fun. It'll be actually an elimination match for both of these teams, right? It'll be, yeah. yeah. The Game 3 decider. Elimination. Man, yes. if you lose that, if you're Enigma, you're going to feel very bad. Wicked sick for Skylar. <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> He's laughing, but he also had a bit of a face palm there. Ports, it's time for five carries. I agree. I've I seen a lot of that in my pubs. I never have my pubs with five supports, so clearly it's not the strat. Otherwise, people would do it in my pubs. Well, the carry that is Skeeter continuing to bully Nigma. He's just 11k network to this point and just has way too much. <laughs> They're racing. Lil is just racing. <laughs> They're both. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're just zooming through the, ri the river. Uh, thinking about breaking the high ground, has that Ogre Magi Frost Armor as well. Mind Control doing what he can on the front lines here. He does not have much farm to show for himself, along with the entire Enigma team. There is just no item So whatsoever. he's going to have drums. You yeah. better be there. <laughs> oh, Dax is going to pipe. They're ready. But slow, steady damage coming in from Skeeter on the front lines here. Knowing they can just kind of sit behind him, keep on healing him up as much as possible. Time walk off what damage they do. We has using most of his mana pool to try and get Skeeter down low, but the problem is he may not have much mana for the team fight. Yeah, he's already headed back to the Fountain, so once he's healed up, we could see an initiation here. Kuro doesn't have Blink Dagger, though. He's going for that first item, Ags on Slada, so no real good way to start this fight. And Mind Control, he's out of mana instantly from the Void Diffusal. Pops some one charges and gets himself back up. Kuro goes in, they look for the Vacuum Stun, they just don't execute on the combo. Kuro stunned a little bit too early, and... Uh, he gets out, though. Yeah. Man, for now. Stay alive. Uh, Skeeter's still on the front lines, holding on the current. It doesn't need it to kill the Omni Knight. Yeah, that's your carry Omni Knight <laughs> just there that died. They finally had enough of GH. They actually drop a ward in the trees to try and spot GH out there. It's not going to find him, but it doesn't really matter too much in the end as they're going to now focus down the melee racks, it looks like. Yeah, they're constantly trying to catch them in the back with X marks the spot as well. Skeeter jumps in here and there, doesn't really catch anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, gets the courier this time around. Chronosphere is there. If they want to use it, they get the catch. You mentioned the X onto Wii. He goes down and... Well. It was just a matter of time. They don't have a tier 2 on the mid lane or on the bottom lane. So because of that, they're forced to go back, outpush the lanes once again. GH? Yeah, GH. Chrono M. He's gonna... Cro he's gonna cro he's trying to hold it. He's he trying is. to get the kill without it. He's gonna Chrono M. Right. Uh, he won't. There's no mana on GH. This is a slow, painful death. In the oh, okay. Oh. Meanwhile, they know there's no void, so they want to fight. The rest here do not have the Aegis, but uh, yeah, they... Uh, okay, that's team one. They're trying to go for Borania again, the tankiest hero on the side of yeah. aggressive mode. and yeah. He's got that casual hood, which probably actually keeps him alive there. And he's going to pull back his teammate, who was actually TPing the base. They get the stolen shackles. They'll finish off the kill. We have... Just kill after kill, going the way of aggressive mode. Not much more to really say at this point. It's been a, a fun little I think, entertaining game. But. I think their game objective right now is to somehow kill Kunkka. Kill guys, one kill. come on, one, one. kill. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I get those a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's hard to initiate. They've got the Blink on Miracle, though, so no Blink on Slaughter, but let's see if Shadow Shaman can be the one to set things up. GH used the wall, though, so they don't have Dax's ultimate. Aggressive mode just gonna siege the base here as Enigma. Do not but wait. They do end up dropping the wall. Doesn't catch a whole lot until the vacuum comes in to follow it up. They get the long shackles void getting brought pretty low, but he's still got the Aegis to play around with for now. They tried to do this vacuum wall plus slithering crush combo, but yeah. Kuro, he doesn't have a blink. So he needs to run in and it's not too difficult to just step aside. Yeah, you see it coming. It's very telegraph. Kuro, he's, he's running in once again on the back lines here. Skeeter is going to look to prioritize the Omni Knight, who's getting surged away. So we'll see if he drops the Chronosphere. Yeah, he will. Catches Kunkka. Very good. Yep. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like he should have five man cornered his team just to make a statement. And, and if you're great a couple of solves on. <laughs> yeah. You know, Chrono, your team, use solves just in the memory of Slash. Yes. Yes, maybe you throw a mech in there as well. I mean, you talk about Nygma's goal to get one kill. I feel like aggressive mode goal should have been the the five-man team Chrono with Salves. But they're not it's quite... It's change a thing. <laughs> like spending yeah. your big ulti and all your gold on Salves yeah. wouldn't change a thing in this game because there is a smoke. All right. There's Miracle and Mind Control smoked up. Uh, what can they do? I mean, look at the discipline. Spartan is drawing lines oh. saying, Boronia, he was doing some shopping back at base. He has another Crystalis. Here comes Skeeter, just going to be charging in. Can they fight this one? Mind Control on the front lines. Gonna be kept alive for now. Nice vacuum, but it's... Okay, there's a stun follow-up. There's the crush, but there's just no damage. Radiant, they're just... Everyone is melting. connected by that bolt. Yep. There's and just... That's looking like the end. He's dropping items, Skylark. Yeah, they leave him Okay, I thought they were gonna leave him alive, but GG. not the case, yeah. <laughs> they tried to get that one kill. They smoked up for it. Didn't really work out in the end. They couldn't. Overall, a funny looking lineup. Yeah. Maybe they were just looking to learn something out of it, you know? Um, you never play it, Squirrel. 